Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Sharif with you. And uh, within this video, we'll be learning how to uh, calculate the reaction for this free. First of all, when you have a problem like that, the first thing to do is to see how many reactions you have. So in this problem, there is a ruler support at A and there is a pin support at C. This uh, joint at B is a rigid connection. So there is no intermediate hinge here. No, only we have one ruler support, one pin support. So at ruler support, how many reactions we have? We have one reaction, which is perpendicular to the surface. And let's call it Y at A. Then at the pin support at C, we will have two reactions. The first reaction will be X at C. And then we have another reaction, which is Y at C. So our work now is to find those three reactions. For any problem, before starting using the three equilibrium equation, let's start think first which equation you start with. If someone said, I'm going to start by summation of force in Y equals zero, you'll find that you have two unknowns, YA and YC, and this will not result in a direct solution. But if we started by the X force or the summation of force in the X direction, you have only X at C, so we can use it. Then you can take a moment at this point, you can get the Y, so you can start by summation of force in X direction, or you can take a moment at C to eliminate the X, C, and Y, C, and we'll be able to get the Y, A. Let's start by taking summation of forces in the X direction. So this will be our first equation, summation of Fx equals to zero. Let's assume positive direction goes to the right. Therefore, X at C minus two kilonewtons. This is the only horizontal force that we have. So it will be minus two equals zero. Therefore, X at C equals two kilonewton and as we assume it's going to the right and this will be our first unknown which is the reaction at C let's put it here so the value is two kilonewton this is the first one that we got now let's move forward and get the second reaction in this case we can take a moment at C for the whole structure and the only unknown will be the y at a, we can get it easily. So let's take a moment, summation of m at c equal to zero. You can assume counterclockwise is positive or clockwise is positive, it's as you used to do. Here I'm using counterclockwise as positive and therefore let's take a moment at this point. So it will be two times two, this is counterclockwise, it will be positive. Again, plus six times Two, again also counterclockwise so it will be positive minus y a times this distance it will be clockwise so it will be negative so let's start by the first force here therefore uh, two times two which is this one plus six kilonewton times two so six times 2 minus y a times 4 equal to 0 okay let's solve for that problem and using calculator we can find the y a equals 4 kilonewton going upward as we assumed and this will be the second solution or the second unknown that we have let's draw it again this is y a so we found two now this is y a equals four kilo newton going upward so we found two of the three unknowns let's find the third one and for the third one we can use summation of f y equal to zero okay and therefore y at c which is unknown minus six kilonewton which is this value plus y at a which is four that we already got before so it will be plus four equals to zero and therefore y c equals two kilonewton 
going upward and this will be the third unknown that we need to find and let's write it here as well this is two kilonewton and by doing that we found all the three unknowns but you need to make a check don't forget to make a check so you have to make a check to ensure that your solution is correct how to make a check use an equation that you never used before we already used summation of force in x we use summation of force in y and we took a moment at c at this point so we can now take a moment at a so let's take a moment at a to ensure that these two reactions are fine therefore summation of m at a equal to zero and let's again take it counterclockwise is uh, negative and positive is therefore let's take a moment at a so it will be minus six which is this force times two okay minus two times this height which is this two meters okay so it will be minus two times two then plus this reaction which is x at c two times the height in this case which is four meters plus y c which is again two times this horizontal distance which is four so times four and let's use a calculator and we'll find that all of this equal to zero and therefore it's okay we can ensure now that our reactions are fine so again uh, start with the equations that will give you a direct uh, answer like yc or taking a moment at c it will give you ya uh, summation of force at x it will give you x at c and then you can take the force in y to get the last one and don't forget to make 